So, TV presenter, weatherman, and fitness fanatic, Alex Bearsford. Alex, have you seen my shirt? Bears. <laughs> I mean, let's face it. I mean, he's he's topless most days, and and that's okay. But Alex, have you seen my shirt, Bearsford? Good guy. So I'm not making fun of him, but um, he does spend a rather inordinate amount of time with his shirt off. But again, I don't mind. Um, <laughs> That he reminds us daily that we could afford to lose a pound or two or or 50. Um, yeah, so Alex, who happens to also be 40 years of age, um, he decided that he was um, not exactly incandescent with rage, but he's asked the question, Man, are we still talking about Meghan Markle while she is simultaneously getting on with her life? In fact, most are getting on with theirs. Bar a few who want to keep the narrative going. Exhausting. I hope her big brother thanks her for the big brother appearance fee. Of course, Alex Beresford is speaking in reference to Thomas Markle Jr. on the Big Brother VIP in Australia. And his appearance, of course, is compensated. He's not just showing up to hang out with some interesting, colorful people. He's being paid for his time. And all of these television appearances by these haters, by these, I guess, provocateurs, are paid for. These are, these are, this is how they earn their living. And so the people that you see in the comments that feel so sorry for uh, Thomas Markle Sr. and he's this pathetic old man and he's asked for forgiveness they don't really care or they don't acknowledge the fact that he's being paid for those appearances they're all being paid for their appearances in some way form or fashion there's a compensation there even if there's the promise of future work these uh these people are paid. These world experts, they negotiate a fee before they appear on television. There is a consulting job, and they are being paid handsomely for it. People love to, um, well, not people. I wouldn't confuse a royal reporter as a person. <laughs> we should never confuse the likes of that mushroom hairdo lady or the one with that big Easter Island head. We should never confuse those as people. We should never confuse um, Jackie Gleason, that reporter. He's not a person. These are not people. And how about that father and daughter team, the ones that got caught in that lie? We don't want to confuse those as people either. They're not people. Now, there's one who I'm rather fond of that I like to think of as an actual person. As a matter of fact, I think that he's as close to a fair reporter as you could possibly find. But the rest of them, they're awful. They're dreadful people. And the only... Could you imagine going to university and telling people, Oh, um, I'm going to become a royal reporter. <laughs> So you're taking a fine um, education and you're using it to sit up and gossip about royal family members? Is that really what you're doing? I mean, you can't be embarrassed by the money because I'm sure these people have some pretty posh lives that they lead. But other than that, you're a royal reporter and then what? So if, some, if you're at a dinner party and somebody says, well, what do you do? Well, I'm a royal reporter and... <laughs> Well, sometimes we go by for tea and, and we have a dance, you know, completely off the record. We get a chance to see Camilla Barker Bowles do the foxtrot. You ain't nothing but a hound. But other than that, what good do they serve? And just to avoid looking completely racist, isn't it amazing the lengths that they are going through? <laughs> 
I, I can't help but laugh at this. It's, just, it's so funny to me, but it's also so pathetic. The lengths that they're going through to try to drag the Sussexes into any type of headline just so that they can compensate for this uh, seismic shift toward negative reporting about the Duke of York. They're doing everything they can to try to drag them into it. They're even trying... <laughs> <laughs> they're trying to pass off the uh, Duchess of Sussex and Kate Middleton they're trying to like connect them like they're Laverne and Shirley like they're Lucy and Ethel <laughs> they're doing everything it's funny to me it really is if it wasn't so pathetic it would even be funnier but how, how much further will you go what, what other lengths will you attempt to try to get the two of them in some kind of anything as long as they can try to figure out any kind of way to get the Sussexes in the headline, the better. If we can just get X amount of stories about the Sussexes out there every day, life is going to be so much better for us. Lord knows they're going to make a lot of money. But... <laughs> the, <laughs> I even hate to talk about it. But it just keeps popping up. It's just, it's everywhere, all the time. Every time you open up the whatever social media page, there's something about the outreach between the Duchess of Sussex and that Middleton person. I'm just sick of it. Do you hear me? Sick of it. I have to lay off because I think I ruined someone's earphones like that. But I am sick of it. Leave the Sussexes alone. They want nothing to do with that place. They're over here just working. They're over here securing their future. And they are over there thinking of anything they can to make that association. And it just won't stick. But to show you how desperate they are, first they were uh, disinvited to the Obama party. The Obamas love the Queen more than they love the Duchess of Sussex. Not that it's true, but I kind of don't think they care. You know, if if someone says, I like so-and-so more than I like you, fine. But that has nothing to do with whether or not they were going to go to a party. You don't know if they were invited. You don't know if they turned it down. You don't know anything. But yet... That big Easter Island head, Camilla Tomini, just throws it out there as usual, guessing and summating from whatever little intuition she has, like, gee, how am I going to pay for this new car, this new kitchen? I better think of some way to get the Duchess of Sussex into this. It's pathetic. They have no dignity whatsoever. Is an ongoing drumbeat is drip, 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 lie, lie, and more lies. If the Duchess of Sussex has given up her father's whatever connection that she had with her father, whatever was left of it, because they haven't been on the best of terms for quite some time, I heard. One could assume. But if that was the case, if there is little or no connection between them or absolutely zero connection, if that is the posture that she's taken with her father, what makes anybody think that she would want to have any kind of connection with the mean girl? How could she talk to her? Who can understand her in the first place, let alone have a conversation with her? Do you know that that poor thing is probably so intimidated by the Duchess of Sussex I don't think she would want to have any kind of connection with the Duchess of Sussex, let alone be involved in something that required her to show some type of initiative or talent. That's just not in her wheelhouse. I'm going to assume that she's a great mother. I'm going to assume that she... that she... <laughs> well, then she... Um, oh, her hair looks nice. And then she's, well, I'm sure she's got, 
she she's she's doing something. Oh, the coat dress. That's it. <laughs> Nobody can rock a coat dress like the Duchess of Cambridge. So don't anybody ever say I didn't say something nice about it because I just did. But this is just beyond ridiculous. It's just stupid. Leave the Duchess of Sussex alone. She's not involved with that island. She doesn't care. And if there was something going on between the two of them, even though there's not, but if there was something going on, trust me, <laughs> the idea that that was leaked, it didn't come from Montecito, California. If something like that was leaked out, if something like that were to ever happen, trust me, you would hear about it from over there first. But because it's not true, it doesn't really matter whether or not they said anything. This is all a lesson of futility. There's absolutely no merit to it whatsoever. And we just have this constant narrative. And then, the, I'm not even through yet, but it's like they have no soul. These are just soulless, mindless predators that don't mind who they attack. And for the reporters that work in that madhouse, shame on you. When you could have a former editor of Vogue magazine write a, an entire article critiquing the corner, the corner of one person's house, a room, the corner of a room, not even the house, but just the corner of the room. That's your critique. That's what you're writing about as a former editor of Vogue magazine UK. You're for, you, Anna Winters had your job. And that's what you're doing? Really? I mean, this lady looks like Mrs. Doubtfire. I don't just go around taking shots at people like that. I wouldn't make fun of her just for the heck of it. But I pointed out that this... this yeah, I had to take that part out. <laughs> it was so mean. I had unpacked all kind of adjectives on that frumpy little thing and... Anyway, this is a P-rated, uh, PG-rated <laughs> podcast, so <laughs> just imagine what I probably said, okay? It's critiquing the Duchess of Sussex and saying she has so little taste. You ought to be the quietest person in the room. Because after all these years, you still haven't figured out how to dress or decorate your home. But you're taking all these uh, digs in with the Duchess of Sussex while you're so woefully inadequate yourself. And then people say, well, Baron, you shouldn't say that because we're stooping to that level. I don't give a rat's behind. Once you come after someone that I care about, I have no level. <laughs> I have no moral compass. That starts to, to seep away. So, no. No, just don't do it and then you won't hear from me. But that that's, that's disgusting. You're a former editor of Vogue Magazine UK. Such a prestigious position in journalism. And the only thing that you can do to sustain yourself is to critique the corner of an office while the Duchess of Sussex is promoting her 40 by 40. That room is probably 40 feet by 40 feet. It didn't look like that in, in the, uh, her house. I mean, it's just disgusting the way these people carry on. And I'm just totally frustrated. I want to be able to open up the social media without seeing all of these headlines I'm being bombarded with day after day after day. I don't even have to go on sites. If I go on Twitter, it's there. If I go on YouTube, it's there. And then eventually, it bleeds into the mainstream media. And every so often, someone who watches my channel tells me, well, we should ignore this. You can't ignore it. It's there. And the reason why the uh, Sussex's lives have been in danger is because 
they keep saying these things that add fuel to this negativity. And that negativity is, is someone jumping over a fence. That's someone who's um, mailing things that are threatening to people. Or that's someone who um, goes on social media and make other threats, hoping that someone else would do what they don't have the courage to do. So that's why we have to stay vigilant about this. Because saying nothing is not helping the case. Saying nothing is only allowing these bullies to get away with this. I wish I didn't have to say anything. There was a, a window of time that I remember when I'd wake up and I would see all these images from the UK and the Sussexes were out doing meet and greets and sitting down with people and discussing issues and topics of the day. And the Duchess of Sussex, gosh, I was so proud of her to see this American, this African-American woman over in the UK doing what the uh, Princess of Wales, Princess Diana, doing the kind of work she was doing. And I was proud of that. But they took that away from me. They took that away from her. It was a great platform for helping people, but they wanted to control her, to diminish her more than they wanted her to be able to have a position, to use her platform to help people. That it was more important to try to control her, not because she was doing something wrong, but because they just didn't care to do something right. That's what I'm tired of. That's what fatigues me day after day after day is this constant bombardment of negativity. There's no ignoring this. You don't, you know, and if I don't wanna talk about it, then someone who knows that I'm interested in it, they wanna talk about it. And why do they talk about it? Because it's there. It's there and it's adding to the confusion. Well, I heard, and then you have to say, no, don't believe that stuff. If, the, if I'm doing all that, I may as well be reading it myself. Do you understand? I'm getting it one way or the other. So there's no hiding from this. It's there and the heat is on because the Duke of York has suddenly become the um, international figure for a lot of unsavory things. And so in order to try to take the attention away from him, what do they do? They attack the former black president of the United States. They attack the, um, well, the Duchess of Sussex, I'm not going to say former because she is still a um, senior royal, but because she has stepped back in her capacity as a working royal, she retains her titles, but she's not working in that position. But still, her life is affected because of the status of her marriage and more importantly, because of her kids. This is her life now. And so when people say, oh, don't use her titles because, yes, I'm going to use her titles because she will never not be those titles. She will never not be those titles. And because she has those titles or because she's had those titles, she is still in some way going to be targeted by these dark forces who desire to make money from her. So there's never a not. There's never a uh, uh, used to be. It's exactly who she is. She is a royal, and that's that. When she was confirmed into the Church of England, when she married to uh, Prince Harry, she was a royal, and that is the way she will be um, for the rest of her life. That's, that's who she is. There's no going back. There's no... Um, no, no um, turning a switch and all of this just goes away. It never goes away. That's her life. And she's always going to be that curiosity. And that's going to be the same thing for the kids. It's really unfortunate that this is the way it is, but that's the way it is. And, and there's no way for her to not be that person. So all of these things that people are saying, oh, they left that island, don't use those titles. Yes, yes. If I want to use them, I use them. If you don't want to use them, don't use them. I don't use them all the time, but occasionally, yes, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to address her as the Duchess of Sussex. If she used it on her book, then I can say it too. But when she says, when she formally says, 
don't use that title, then I'll stop using it. But until then, I'm going to operate under the assumption that that is Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and that is the Duchess of Sussex, Duchess Meghan Markle, HRH, Her Royal Highness, Rachel Meghan Markle. That's who she is, and that's what she'll always be. So, um, once you become a pickle, you can never be a cucumber again. <laughs> uh, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. You can't put the toothpaste back in the tube. I mean, it's a lot of those you can'ts, but that's just the way it is. And so I'm celebrating the Duchess of Sussex. I'm celebrating the um, accomplishments of Meghan Markle. Whatever you want to call her, fine. But as far as I'm concerned, I'm celebrating the Duchess of Sussex. And I'm here to advocate for the Duchess of Sussex and the Duke of Sussex. And for those, uh, the two children, the prince and princess, I'm going to advocate for them. So that's my function. That's my commitment. And I'm taking it um, as far as I can, okay? So sorry if that's upsetting to some people, especially if you are a troll and you're listening to me say this right now. That's where I stand. So we we all have our different ways of looking at these things but i think we are you know going in the same direction we're just taking a different path in some cases but uh say la vie right um okay so that's it and sorry for this rambling 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 but i'm just just so frustrated but don't worry i'm not going to say sick <laughs> but i am sick of it i am incandescent with rage so um yeah oh well